On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, we have a drunk pilot docking in Taiwan. Hi, I'm your host, Sal Mercagliano. Welcome to today's episode. So it seems to be the week of maritime accidents going on. And this one takes us on March 20th to the port of Kaishung in Taiwan. Now, you may remember this port from an earlier video we did, that of the OOCL Durbin, which basically power slided into the port in the past and took out a container crane. We'll show it to you at the end of this video to remind you. But today's incident is a lot different. This is a drunk pilot. A pilot is someone who assists the ship's master in bringing a ship in and out of a port. Well, this pilot proceeded to run into Taiwan. I don't know how to say it any better than that. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, Hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this story. So let me first say, no one's hurt in this story. So that's a reason for the kind of chuckling here. So I apologize. This is from Maritime uh, Executive. Uh, intoxic intoxicated pilot aboard HMM box ship hits dock at Kaixiung. Uh, container ship arriving in Taiwan hit the berth after traveling in excess of the harbor speed, according to reports from the Port Authority and Taiwan's Maritime and Port Bureau. They're confirming media reports that the pilot assigned to the vessel was legally intoxic intoxicated at the time of the incident, which we have actually video proof of. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. So the ship involved is the Hyundai Tokyo. This is an 80,000 deadweight ton ship uh, built back in 2006, so about 17 years old. She was coming from Ningbao in China to Taiwan, and uh, this is on March 20th. Uh, it comes in here that the harbor's master's office was alerted to the excess speed, the 997-foot, 303-meters vessel uh, with a carrying capacity of 6,763 TU, so not a tremendously large container ship, cleared the breakwater around 9 a.m. as it was moving toward the harbor. The warning system in the Kaishung station began alerting the harbor master's office that the vessel was traveling above the normal speed. What do we mean? Let's go to the videotape. According to the reports, the vessel was traveling over six knots. The signal station called the pilot four times in less than one minute to warn of the speed, but received no reply. The vessel was also being escorted its berth by a harbor tug. Uh, video posted on social media shows the vessel sailing at a 90 degree angle. That's pretty much 90 degrees right there. And not slowing as it approaches the berth. Now let me be clear, this is not a speed two moment where you're gonna see them breaking through and keep moving, that doesn't happen. The, the end here is actually a little bit anti-climatic. Uh, instead, uh, instead of turning, it proceeds straight for the prow, making contact with the steel reinforced concrete berth. And that's it, the ship just stops. That's usually actually what happens. Uh, the ship's bulbous bow actually came into contact with the berth. So this video will show you exactly what happened with the pilot. According to the story in Maritime Executive, uh, the crew alerted the Harbor Bureau that the pilot smelled of alcohol. Subsequent tests showed that he was above the legal limit. Newspaper reports are saying that later admitted having been out drinking the night before and reporting to work at 6 a.m. Okay, the amazing thing about this video here is not this, that they're showing him taking the blood alcohol test, but they show you the results. This is, I, I love Taiwan. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm loving Taiwan TV right now because you get the exact moment right there. So right here, he's bl he blew as 0.69. Now, time out, that's not the way we do it in the United States. This would be a, a 0 0.069 if you blew it. 0.69, you'd be dead. Uh, I mean, there's no way you're alive at that. A 0 0.069 based on the average weight of males in Taiwan. I looked this up. Uh, that's about two to three drinks that he is uh, consumed that is in his blood system. And it is above the legal limit in Taiwan. Uh, the Maritime and Port Bureau initially detained the container ship while inspections were ongoing. Uh, the vessel was uh, reported to have suffered only minor damage. It was released and permitted to proceed on March 21st to China. So I want to show this one graphic from the video because it, it's too good not to show this graphic. 
So this graphic is is it's everything you would ever want in a maritime shipping graphic right here. Using my phone and Google Translate, I was able to translate everything here so that you can know what it is. So you know, like the data right below here. This is the ship. It says Cyprus flagged, uh, Hyundai uh, Tokyo, seventy four thousand six hundred and fifty one tons. The red right here I, over the ship says accident. Uh, my favorite is this little figure right, right over here. Uh, this says, bang. Uh, how do you get better than that? Bang. And then the dude with the exclamation point right there, this is the signal station controller showing his surprise. Uh, this uh, down here will sit and say the speed is too fast, uses the radio to call uh, four uh, consecutive warnings to the ship in under a minute. And then what it says right here, it talks about where it was going. Uh, it, it stops at Pier 77 and then moves to Pier 118. All right, I want to show you the uh, marine traffic graphic of what happens. So this is marine traffic. This tracks the AIS transponders of all ships. These are the automated information systems. And I pulled the AIS data for the vessel as it came in to the port in Taiwan. This is the vessel inbound uh, about 16 knots. You'll see it's slowing down and the vessel is going to slow down to embark the pilot. And as I mentioned to you before, pilots provide local knowledge in how to navigate through a confined area. And so there are pilots for ports and most ports require the embarkation of a pilot. Pilots are usually senior mariners who have been rigorously trained and educated in the nature of the port. So this is the vessel coming in here at this point. Slows down a second here for, I'm not sure why, when she actually embarked the pilot, but there were two points when they slowed down. But here they definitely have the pilot on board at this point. Now, I've been a volunteer firefighter for 25 years almost. I've gone to many accidents involving drunk drivers. And there is a common characteristic for drunk drivers. And the one common characteristic is that they tend not to hit their brakes. There's no skid marks. In other words, they never realize when they're going to crash, either off the road, into somebody, off into a building or something like that. You don't see any skid marks. As a ship, you don't expect to see skid marks. But you do expect to see the vessel slow down. And one of the things you'll notice here is notice how this vessel sails into the port. So here it is. It's speeding up. And I mean speeding up. I mean, he's hitting 9.7 knots here. This is a really fast speed to be coming in. And it's heading between the breakwaters. Now, this vessel is supposed to go in the port, turn left, and go to a berth that is right up around here. It's at the very top here. You can't quite see it. But that's where the vessel is supposed to go. That's not where the vessel goes. Okay, he does not slow down. He is doing seven knots coming in here. And let's be clear, it's a 900-something foot long ship. Uh, we're talking about 70,000 tons. Uh, this is, I, I mean, I don't know what he expects to happen here. Uh, you cannot handbrake this turn hard left and get in there. If you drop your anchors at this point, that does nothing. I know you've seen movies like Battleship where they drop an anchor and swing a battleship. That doesn't happen. The, the, first of all, the anchors will not grab at that speed. Second of all, you're going to rip the anchor out. It's not going to slow you down. And this vessel just proceeds to plow, I mean plow, right into the berth right there. Fortunately, there was no ship up against the berth or else this would have been a disaster. I mean, he would have T-boned right into a vessel there, but fortunately there is no vessel there. And again, one of the big responsibilities here is not just the pilot, and let's be clarify this for a second, the ship's master and ship's crew should have taken notice of this. They should have slowed down. The pilot does not relieve the master of their responsibilities of safe navigation of the vessel. So I talked about the fact that this happened in the past, and this is the video I did back last, or a year before last now, on the OOCL Durban power sliding into Keishang. One of the things we talked about here is the idea that the, the ship should have turned hard left, and like I said, it was not gonna make it. This is a good example of a ship coming in too fast into the port that tried to make it. So this is OOCL Durban coming into the port on June 3rd of 2021. Uh, the ship is going way too fast, 
coming in. It makes the hard left turn heading for the berth. This is being filmed get down, get from down. on top of one of the big ship to shore cranes. And it's going to actually strike a ship up against the berth. And you'll hear the metal hitting here in a second. But the thing to note here is one of the booms for one of the big ship to shore cranes, that yellow and red right there, are down. And the ship's bridge and house is going to hit it and push down the ship to shore crane. Uh, luckily, no one was severely hurt in this accident when it occurred. But it's a good example of coming in fast to a port, this specific port, as a matter of fact. You can hear it hitting now. The OOCL Durban was empty. She had just come from a refit, and so this is going to be her first port to load. And that may have been why they lost control of the ship. She was very lightly loaded. You'll see the crane start going now. So that was a Yang Min crane that went down there. But these are two incidences within two years. And in the first case, uh, the OCL Durban ship lightly loaded, coming into port too fast, spun way wide in the channel and hit a vessel and took out a crane. In this case, with the Hyundai T Tokyo drunk pilot who blew a .069 and then proceeded to run directly into a pier. Uh, divers uh, were da sent down to inspect the pier. The pier suffered uh, damage, so they're going to have to repair the pier. I'm not sure if the pier is going to be usable for the foreseeable future. They moved the vessel off that pier to its original pier after the accident happened, and the ship is now on schedule proceeding on. Obviously, there's not severe damage to the vessel to prevent it from sailing on. So anyway, drunk pilot. Don't see it too often, but here you go. So just to prove that there's always something new and exciting happening in the world of global shipping. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it across social media, and if you can, support the page. How do you do that? You can hit that super thanks button down below where perhaps I'll go get a drink uh, in your honor. Probably, but not while driving and docking a container ship. Or you can head on over to Patreon where you can become a patron of the page, either monthly or yearly subscriber.